better late than never is what I always say. That's right, all you mentees. Today we're going to be looking at my graphic novel haul for the month of August of 2021. So, let's get started. Alright, got an Omni, a couple of library editions, slipcase editions, and some trade paperbacks and oversized hardcovers. And I'll be doing a manga haul separately, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to watch that. That'll be coming out sometime later this month. So let's go ahead and get started by checking out this book, one of my whales that I've been after for a while. So a big shout out to my fellow Omni bro, Gabe Loves 90s Comics. Uh, well, I think now he goes by Ninja Comics on Instagram where he's selling books, but he actually sent me this copy, or sold me rather than send me, uh, sold me this copy of Tomb of Dracula, the Complete Collection Volume 1, which I freaking have been looking for everywhere. And there hasn't been a reprint of it, it's only had one printing. I sold my Omnibus Editions. Uh, because I thought that Marvel had stopped uh, making them af after Volume 3. And now, you know, you ever have those regret purchase or regret sells? Yeah, those three books, those are some of my regret sells. But I never was able to find the complete collection. So I was looking for it at comic book shops, at uh, conventions I would go to for the last two years, really looking for it, and couldn't find it. And then he told me that, hey, uh, I know you're looking for this book, I don't need it anymore, if you want it, you know, I'd be more than happy to sell it to you. So, of course, I took the opportunity to get it. Uh, we do have, I think, a Complete Collection Volume 5 coming out later in this year. So, this is the way that Marvel has decided to start making them. We do have a wonderful masterwork coming out, which I know, I know, I'm, I should go that route, but you all know me, or if you do know the channel, that I don't really collect masterworks, I just use them as placeholders and then end up giving them away, but this, I don't know, if the artwork is remastered a lot, then I may go and check out the masterwork and probably start collecting them that route, but I mean, this is some of the classic freaking stories of Dracula, Tomb of Dracula. Uh, from the Marvel Comics years. You have wonderful artwork in here from Gene Colan. A lot of this stuff, of course, written by Jerry Conway, Archie Goodwin, just to name a few of the creators in here. Um, but yeah, this is the Tomb of Dracula Complete Collection, Volume 1, Parental Advisory. Love seeing that. And the other book I got from him was this Spider-Man Deadpool by Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis. Because I figured I'd be doing a Deadpool reading order one day. And I wanted to include this. Because this is written by Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis. The two guys that really put Deadpool on the map for a lot of people. Yes, I realized that Daniel Way's run is the most memeable run. Does that make, is that even a word? Memeable? Memes? You know what I'm saying? Like, people made memes out of that run, making Daredevil this very popular character outside of comics. But I feel like Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis really put the character on the map at Marvel. Yes, you all know I love Fabian Yusecia. He's my favorite Deadpool writer and big fan of his Cable and Deadpool run. But I feel like if it wasn't for Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis, well, whenever... Uh, the issues that he did draw, uh, we wouldn't have the popularity of the character that we do this day. So I wanted to get this because this is the new series, uh, and this only collects the Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis run. So it's issues 1 through 5, 8 through 10, and 13 through 14, as well as 17 through 18. The other issues by other writers and artists are not collected in this format. I'm not sure if there's ever going to be an omnibus, but I was just playing it safe. Now, I interviewed Nandor Schaefer uh, about a month or two ago uh, talking about his kickstarter he does have a new kickstarter and he was nice enough to send me a couple of his books one of them being lifeline and then seasons and they're supposed to be four of these of course for each season uh, these are the books that he's worked on and this is drawn by anthony gonzalez clark both of them have been kickstarted and his current kickstarter i believe is up and going i i read a little bit of lifeline and i was I meant to finish it before this overview, but I didn't get around to it because of Omnigeddon. Woo! I think. Man, if that didn't whoop your wallet's ass, it whooped your brain's ass. All that reading, I swear. But, uh, yes, this both of these books are available through his website. And I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get it. Or where you can see his 
uh, Kickstarter. But I interviewed him about his current Kickstarter. If you want to watch that interview, I'll put the link up above. I don't know how I missed this when it came out a couple of months ago, but I went back and got it. This is New Gods. 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 I can't even more talk pretty one day. New Gods. Bloodlines. By Mark Evanier. Paris Collins. Uh, this is the era of New Gods at DC. And this one's called Bloodlines. I think this collects issues 1 through 14. But this is the 90s stuff here. There we go. So kicking it off with issue number one. So late 80s, 1989, all the way to the early 90s. And I remember this being the very first few comics that I read the New Gods like as a monthly comic book. I remember picking up issue like number 12 of this series and just to find out about these characters because I wasn't familiar with these characters. Uh, they would randomly show up in issues of... I think Justice League, some of the characters from here, uh, some of them showed up in Crisis and Superman, but I wanted to know more about this world, and this is before I had read any of The Fourth World by Jack Kirby. So it's nice to have it in this uh, collection. I'm sure there's going to be more, I say that. This is the issue I had, so it was issue number 11. It was part of the Bloodline Saga. Yeah. But... <sighs> I think a second volume has already been solicited. So this happens, for those of you keeping track, after The Fourth World by Jack Kirby and before the John Byrne Fourth World Omnibus. So just for those of you keeping track of the timeline. Now I've done an overview of the Brave and the Bold Omnibus Volume 3, making me think about buying Volumes 1 and 2 now. A few months ago, I got to read this really interesting book, and it was The Strange Death of Alex Raymond. And I was actually, um, the gentleman, the, the penciler, Carson Grubau, sent this to me as a thank you for promote, helping promote the book. It was a Kickstarter, and I believe now you can get it through Direct Market. Uh, but this is all about Alex Raymond, uh, the artist. And if you want to go back to look at that, uh, I'll leave it in the description of the video. Oh, this is nice. I wasn't expecting this. Wow. Um, and there's a nice letter here. It's signed by Dave Sam. I just opened this up. It just came in the mail. Um, wow. So I'll be reading that here in a little bit. There's a forward by Eddie Campbell. And I really like the paper quality that this is printed on. It's not it's not the flat matte that you're used to. It's got a little bit of a slick finish to it. But this is the type of artwork. And this is a, over a decade in the making um, of the mysterious death of Alex Raymond. And it talks about just breaking down pretty much the different art styles that were around at the time. Putting them into three different categories. And honestly, this works like a historical lesson. Uh, in not just the people that were there creating these characters of long ago, but the evolution of art, like who inspired who. I love that about this book. This was all in the preview, uh, such as you have Arthur Adams, Michael Turner, just borrowing elements from different artists. I love that they break that down. And then, of course, going back to the classic art style, I love the fact that the art style can shift and... This is a beautiful book. Uh, like I said, you can get it through Diamond. Uh, so your local comic book shop or places like Cheap Graphic Novels or Walt's Comic Shop or In Stock Trades, DCBS, Diamond Breed Collectors, Organic Price Books. All those guys should be able to order you a copy of this book. I, now, I have not read anything past the preview. So this stuff right here is new to me. Again, 10 years in the making. Damn, I can't wait to read this. And he also sent um, some extra things in here. Strange Death of Alex Raymond. This is the pre preliminary uh, Strange Death. Some behind the scenes. And I don't know what this is. So I have the very first one. Maybe this is the promotional stuff that they gave away at a convention. I'll have to take a closer look at that. So thanks a lot. I really appreciate this, Carson. That is really cool. And I wasn't expecting a nice note in here and some signatures and then this right here. Very cool. Thank you, sir. From Humanoid Books, I wanted to get this, the Crime Anthology, First Degree. 
Uh, this is created by a bunch of different artists and writers. Uh, David Aha providing the artwork here for the cover. But you have Michael Lark as one of the artists. And if you're a fan of things like Criminal, Cruel Summer, Fatal, Kill or Be Killed, Lazarus, or anything by Ed Brubaker or Greg Rucka, then this might be for you. The book, however, is smaller scale than an omnibus. It's, it's about the size. It's as tall as a trade paperback. Of course, the width is a little bit longer here. Now, I haven't read any of the stories in here, but I can tell you that just based on the premise and the creators behind this, damn, that looks good, um, that it's mature content. I'm sure there's going to be some mature themes in here, just in case you're wondering what the rating is. I don't know if they state it anywhere. Yep, suggested for mature readers. The book retails for $27.99, and it is a hardcover. Gotta give a shout-out to Fear Reader of X. Well, one of many shout outs because he also sent me a couple of other books but deconstructing the ink out i don't know how he knew that i didn't have this and why i needed it in my library so the ink out of course being one of my favorite european comics it's artwork by mobius and jodorowsky being the main writer and what this does is break down the ink out sometimes panel by panel kind of the way that the breakdown of the meta barons um there's interviews in here. And of course, what I want to see is some more artwork featured by other artists. And damn it, I had to skip a few because mature content. Oh, hell. It comes with a ribbon, baby. Awesome. Look at that beautiful Mobius artwork. Damn. I know that Humanoids is going to release some of the Mobius library in hardcover edition, but I don't know the dimensions of them. I used to have a contact over there, but I think she left. So I may have to email them again to see if I can get a hold of somebody that can kind of give you me... Oh my god, look at that opening. Um, give me some information on the new library editions that are coming out. love how big and oversized this book is. This one bigger, comparing it to the size of a trade paper back here. But as you can tell, it's a lot bigger. And it's in hardcover format. The Kyle Pile. My buddy Kyle. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So he was kind enough uh, to send me this. I have been looking for this for a long time. And honestly, I had forgotten about it just because I couldn't find it. But this is God Country. The limited edition God Country exclusive to comic book shops only. Uh, it's the exact same thing as you have in trade paperback format. But the hardcover was only available through, I think, free comic book day. It's Donny Cage, Jeff Shaw, just kicking all kinds of ass. If you've not read this, it's a beautiful story. One of my most beloved non-superhero stories. And with phenomenal artwork. And the design of the sword is the sword that the main character carries in the book. So, brother, thank you so much. And he also sent me a couple of other books. Uh, so some of these you'll be seeing in the giveaway or future giveaways. He was kind enough to send them my way. A lot of them are sealed, so such as Batman Hush. This is the 15th anniversary deluxe edition. In case you don't have that, if you've never read it, it's freaking awesome. Justice League by Scott Snyder, Volume 1, and Batman The Dark Knight, Master Race. So we are doing a huge giveaway this Saturday, live at 11 a.m. And if you want to, uh, or can't make it to the live giveaway, we will be holding back some prices for people that can't make it and, and giving you directions on how you could win them. All you gotta be is a subscriber to the channel and not related to any of us here and answer some trivia questions that we'll be asking in the live stream Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can't wait. So some of these books will be showing up in some of those lots. This is Black Mirror, one of the best Scott Snyder books with Batman, well, not Bruce Wayne Batman, but definitely still Batman. And if you've not read it, this is awesome. The artwork here is done by Jock. And some people, I know some people don't really like his art. I, I think the tone of his artwork really fits the story here in this particular story. Next up is The Hand of Black and Other Stories. This is uh, from Fanagraphics. And it's a collection of nine panel grid just little short stories by Martin Sendreda. And I didn't know what this was about. This is another one that I bought just based on that cover. And I saw some of the internal artwork. 
and it doesn't from the ones that I've seen I've only seen like five pictures uh, it doesn't look like there's any dialogue and if there is it's very minimal let's keep going back here so it looks like it's strange creepy unusual type of little short stories something to cleanse that palette as you're reading something heavy or something that's dialogue heavy rather and don't let the art fool you there is some sexual content in here so this is definitely rated M for mature did I just sound like a video game ad oh god I think I did uh, let me see if there's anything extra so no extras in the back just this <laughs> picture back here uh, the book retails for $24.99 and it is printed by Fanagraphics and it looks like you just have these different these red black and white color tones and that's it you ever buy something and realize that you already have it? I made the mistake and bought this thinking that I needed it for my Guardians of the Galaxy reading order. Speaking of reading orders, when I went over the Spider-Man Deadpool book. But then realized, wait a minute, I already have this one. It's the uh, tomorrow, Tomorrow's Heroes that I need. Or was it Tomorrow's Avengers? Obviously, I can't remember what the heck I needed. Uh, but yes, so, speaking of giveaway... This will be another book that will be part of our giveaway on Saturday. Surprise! Guardians of the Galaxy! Solo Classics! Omnibus! Way to go, Omar! Yeah, it's what I do. You know, honestly, I haven't done it a lot. I haven't done it as much as I thought um, I would have done it by now. I, I accidentally bought something that I already have. It's only happened, I think, a handful of times. Just one hand in the 35 plus years I've been collecting comics and collected editions, so... Not bad. At least I like to lie to myself. From Magnetic Press, I picked up Monolith. Uh, no idea what this is about. Just picked it up purely on this cover, and it's Magnetic Press. So this is written by Lorenzo, the uh, gentleman that did Golem and Viewpoint, and written by Roberto Riccioni and Mauro Uzeo. Orphans and... Oh, Dylan Dog. Okay. Uh, the paperwork in this is this thick, glossy paper. And this is what the artwork looks like. I had no, I didn't even look at the inside, even though you could look at previews on Amazon as to what the art looks like. Because I know going into some of these magnetic press books, the less I know about it, the better off I am. So all I really know about this is that there's a young lady, there's a car, and it's a suspense thriller. And damn, this artwork looks stunning. So adding this to the pile of must-reads ASAP. I swear this pile of must-reads ASAP keeps growing and growing. Low Volume 2. Can I even remember what Low Volume 1 was? Oh, I got vaguely. Greg Tonichi does the artwork, Rick Remender. So, of course, I had to pick this up. I remember it had a deeper meaning like uh, about depression. Uh, volume 1 did. But I'm going to have to go back and reread it. And then go and read this. But this is low volume 2. Uh, they just reprinted volume 1. For those of you that missed up um, missed it the first time around. And speaking of reprints. Gotta skip some uh, mature content there. And speaking of reprint. <laughs> what I was going to say is that. Rick Remender on Twitter mentioned that Deadly Class Volumes 1 and 2 were going to be reprinted when Volume 3 comes out. And I believe that is next year sometime. Holy crap is this artwork awesome. I gotta set some time aside. I gotta stop making videos. No, I won't do that. So here's all the extras with the... God, look at these covers. Damn. Even if I... Okay, I'll be honest. Even if I didn't know what the story was about, the these covers alone... Wow. His colors are just freaking mind-blowing. And I love the fact that they have the art process back there pencils of the covers this is so cool and of course these are a little bit bigger than your standard hard covers for example here it is compared to that omnibus that I'll be giving away this Saturday yay <laughs> all right a uh, shout out coming fear reader of X so he was kind enough to donate umbrella Academy slipcase edition volume 3 he sent me two copies um, he also sent me the um, the Fabulous Killjoys uh, Library Edition. Slipcase, rather. And he said, you know, keep them or feel free to give them away. And 
I didn't have the slipcases of Umbrella Academy Volume 1 so in my, uh, and 2. So in my video I said, well, thanks man, this is so nice. But now I gotta go find the slipcase of Volumes 1 and 2. And then he sent me this package with this in there. Not just this, but also a couple of things that will be given away. So a huge shout out to Fear Reader of X, a wonderful subscriber and viewer of the channel. This was completely unexpected. This was not what I meant when I was saying, now I gotta go buy volumes one and two. But I really appreciate it, man. This is so cool. And like I mentioned, yes, he also donated some things for our giveaway this Saturday. But this is Umbrella Academy. If you don't know what this is, I'll leave a link up in the description above. But I'm sure by now, let me move that out of the way. But I'm sure by now, a lot of you all know what this is. Uh, this is Gerard Way, Gabriel Ba, and Dave Stewart's wonderful masterpiece inspired heavily by Doom Patrol and X-Men. And Gerard Way, of course, from My Chemical Romance. Let's get to the extras back here. Because I don't want to spoil that for anybody that hasn't read it. But they've made a Netflix show, two seasons, with a third coming. Uh, there's a total of three of these. And then there's the World of Umbrella Academy. I believe it's just a card cover. I don't think they're doing a slipcase or library edition of it. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up with Black Hammer. But all the extras are the same. So if you have the library edition, it's identical to that, with the exception of this fake leather look. The library edition just has just a black tone to it. And last but not least is Umbrella Academy Slipcase Volume 2 Dallas. So it's a nice little print that comes with these. And as I mentioned, just like Volume 1, everything is identical. Um, I like keeping the little leaflets because I'm weird like that. But everything is identical other than the fake fall leather finish to it. These are beautiful books. Uh, this one is red, volume one is black, and then the third volume is purple. This one, time travel, Kennedy assassination. This is what season two is based on. Um, this and some elements of Hotel Oblivion, which is the third volume, is borrowed for season two. Uh, some of the characters here showed up in season one of Umbrella Academy. But again, Gabriel Ba. Gerard Way, Dave Stewart, joining forces to tell this wonderful story about these extraordinary people with powers. Here's some of the extras in the... Wow! Jim Lee. Damn! Uh, where was I? Yes. Extraordinary people with extraordinary powers. And there's a little sketchbook back here. But that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing some of these books, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. This promotion is valid for U.S. customers only. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my graphic novel haul for the month of August of 2021. Let me know in the comments down below what you've picked up in the month of August or what you're picking up in the month of September, what you're looking forward to the most. And if you have any more questions about any of these books that I went through. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in live this Saturday for a huge giveaway that you can enter by just being a subscriber and of course, answering some questions. It'll be a huge random number generator after you get that answer right, but everybody has a chance to win including people from overseas. Just our way of saying we love you all and thank you for all the years of watching. Anyway, where was I? Where the hell was I? Oh, yes, that's right. We do have a Patreon and a spread shop. Great ways to support the channel. But more importantly, everyone, stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love.